Hello everyone and welcome to the 3ds Max tutorial where we install Wallworm model tools. If you don't know what Wallworm model tools is, it is a suite of source engine focused plugins for 3ds Max. This plugin was made by Sean Olson and you can download it on his website, which there's a link in the description below. Once you have it downloaded, you'll get a zip file. I have Wallworm Pro. This is a commercial plugin that's about $30. You can just go buy it because it's great or there is a free version. The installation and configuration for both of them is essentially the same. We're gonna start by going to our 3ds Max install directory, which will be inside of Program Files, Autodesk, your 3ds Max install. Find the scripts folder. And then inside the zip file, you'll want to drag wallworm.com inside of scripts, click continue. Once that's done, you can close out of both those windows and you'll want to launch 3ds Max as administrator. When you install the plugin, it copies some files to the 3ds Max install directory that requires administrative privileges. Once 3ds Max is loaded, go to the scripting dropdown and click run script. Inside of here, open wallroom.com and install.ms and then click open. Accept the EULA and then hit agree. 3ds Max may hang for a second, and that'll tell you that you need to restart 3ds Max. It will also open the change log in your default web browser. You can scroll through this to see what has been updated or just close it. Click OK. And now Wallworm will ask us to configure our paths. The easiest way to set up is to just import a preset. So we can choose our source engine and then import game config file. So we click that button. And now we want to browse to the installation directory of our Source Engine game. I'm using Counter-Strike Global Offensive, so once I get to Common Counter-Strike Global Offensive, I want to go into the bin folder, not CSGO. So we'll go into bin and we're looking for gameconfig.txt. So click open. And now we have our default, which actually is going to have nothing in it. We'll click on Counter-Strike Global Offensive and hit Load Selected Preset. This should populate all of our model and material paths, which will make Wallworm work a lot better for us. The next thing that you'll probably do if you're planning to export to Hammer is import assets from a VMF. This could be for scale or if you just want to use Wallworm model tools to create levels inside of 3DS. We need to extract the textures that our source game is using. I'll create a new folder on my data drive and I'm going to call this CSGO raw. This is going to contain the raw materials from Counter-Strike Global Offensive. Now I'll need to open up GCF Scape. This is a free tool that will allow us to extract the textures that ship with CSGO. So I'll click file and I want to open pack 01 durvpk This will be different depending on the game that you're working in. The folder that I want is the materials folder. I'll right click on this and hit extract and I'll choose the CSGO raw folder that I just created on my D drive. I'll click OK, and this is going to start to extract. It'll take a little bit to pull all of the files out. In the meantime, under asset import paths, I want to set my extra paths to be D dot dot backslash CSGO raw slash materials. And then I'll click save to save my preset. We want to set this path to be the materials folder that we're extracting. So DECSGO raw materials. This will allow 3ds Max to actually use the VTF files when we import brushwork. So if we have concrete from Go on a brush when we import it, it will actually appear inside of 3ds Max. Another thing that I should mention is the Max Project folder. This is not a feature specific to Wallworm, but Wallworm can set your project folder depending upon whatever preset you're using. I'm currently working on a project called Titan, so I'll click my project folder and I will browse to my existing 3ds Max project folder for that. Once I select that, it will ask if I want to set my current Max project folder to this path. I'll tell it yes, and if we browse to that folder quickly, this is my project folder. Inside of here, this is everything that's relevant to this project. It's a very good organizational practice to keep projects together inside of project folders. 
This also makes it easier if you need to pass your project off to a collaborator so they have everything that you're working on as well. For instance, all of my scene files are stored inside here as well, including the max start file that I talked about in the previous video. Now I can hit save to save that preset again, and I'll X this out. If you want to set your project path without using Wallworm, you can just click customize, configure user paths, and your project folder is located right here along with all of the other folders that it's going to create. You can manually change them if you want, but I keep them all inside of my project folder. Now, because we've configured Wallworm, we're just going to close 3ds Max, and I don't need to save the changes to this scene file. If your material files are still extracting, we're going to wait for this copy to finish before we reload 3ds Max and test to make sure that everything's working. Now that the file copy has done, we can close out a GCF scape and that folder, and we can load 3ds Max up again. Now that 3ds Max has loaded, it has loaded my Max start file from my project that I just set. Now I just want to make sure that the textures that I exported into the CSGO raw folder will be read when I import a VMF that I'm using for scale or if I'm working inside of a level in Wallworm. So I'll go to Wallworm and then importers and choose VMF or map file. I'll click choose VMF or map file and I'll select the tutorial level and click open. Give it a moment while it goes through the map file. The larger the level, the longer it's going to take. It may appear like 3ds Max has locked up. Give it a few minutes. If it hasn't responded, then it probably has locked up, but we're already good to go with our level. So I can just delete my skybox here and we have our map. So that is the basic install and use for importing a level with Wallworm. And that's going to wrap up this quick video on getting Wallworm set up and ready to go to work in source engine levels in conjunction with 3ds Max. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.